To multiply sine fractions with variables, we're going to use the same technique as multiplying sine fractions, except we'll expand the variable factors. So in this first example, notice how we have a negative times a positive, so this product will be negative. But before we multiply, we want to simplify, which means we want to identify all the common factors between the numerators and denominators that would simplify to one. So for this first fraction, the prime factorization of twelve, well twelve is four times three, and four is two times two, so we'd have two times two times three for the prime factorization of twelve, and then we're going to expand x to the fifth, which means we'll have five factors of x. Thirteen is prime, two is prime, the prime factorization of nine is three times three, and then for x to the third, we'll have three factors of x. And now we'll identify all the common factors between the numerators and denominators. So notice how we have a factor of three here and here. Well, three over three simplifies to one. And now looking at the variable factors, notice how we have three factors of x in common. So x over x simplifies to one, x over x simplifies to one, and x over x also simplifies to one. So now our product will be in simplest form. Again, we have a negative times a positive, so our product is negative. The numerator is going to be two times two times two, that's eight. But we also have two factors of x, which will be x squared. And the denominator is thirteen times three, which is equal to thirty-nine. And because we simplified before we multiplied, we know our product is in simplest form. Let's take a look at a second example. Here we have a negative times a negative, so our product will be positive. But before we multiply, we do want to simplify out all of the common factors between the numerators and denominators. So we're going to write everything out in prime factored form and expand our variable factors. So for this first fraction, three is prime, and for a to the fourth, we'll have four factors of a. The prime factorization of four is two times two with one factor of b. And then for our second fraction, the prime factorization of fourteen is two times seven, and for b squared, we have two factors of b. The prime factorization of fifteen is three times five, and we have one factor of a. And now we'll identify the common factors between the numerators and denominators. Here we have three over three that simplifies to one, and here's two over two that simplifies to one. And now looking at the variable factors, we have one factor of a here and here that simplifies to one, and we have one factor of b that simplifies to one here and here. And now we can go ahead and multiply, knowing the product will be in simplest form. Again, a negative times a negative is positive. Looking at the numerator, we have seven, and then three factors of a for a to the third, and the denominator is two times five, which is equal to ten. So this would be our product.